Testing one, two, three guys. Testing one, two, three guys. Yo, what's up? Welcome back to Mechabot Brews Day Tuesday, third strike action all night long. My name is Dave. Guys, today we're doing our second uh, attempt at Sneech's uh, Crossfire. It's a format where we have two teams here, guys. Team Starbelly and Team Plainbelly. Team Starbelly is Countdown, the Mineral God, SWP Philly, Arteus, Legalized Ranch, JoJo's, Fry Monger, Jimbo Slice, and Lord Solar. Team Plainbelly is KD Alpha, Wi-Fi Kai, Three Venge, Third Noobster, Herb Gherkin, Jonesy143, Liquid Drifter, Tan Ren, Love Is You, and Reek. Guys, we're gonna get uh, Countdown and KD Alpha's challenges here underway. Thanks for your patience. I'm actually at these guys both on uh, our Third Strike channel. I'm going to at uh, uh, Countdown, at KD Alpha. Who on the opposite team do you want to challenge? You can read a convenient list of all the players on each team at Bruise Day Updates. You guys get first pick, first player to choose is the first player to fight. I'm gonna at Bruise Day as well here, guys. Um, please review the player order at Bruise Day Updates and make sure that you have an opponent in mind to challenge when it becomes your turn to pick. Remember that each player can only be challenged once and I will um, bold the names of players as they get challenged. Thanks so much, guys. Beep, 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 beep. Yeah, Beach Ken. Jimbo does use Dungeon sometimes, yes. When I met Jimbo, he was a Dungeon player. You can deliberate with your teams regarding who you should pick to fight at Team Starbelly and Team Plain Belly. That's kind of the idea behind the format, guys. The format here is sort of like a, a thing where it's like an element of strategy at play. Yeah, I'd love to have time to come out to more of the Grown Man Monthlies. Here we go, so we need uh, picks from Countdown and Katie. Who are we gonna play, guys? Who are we challenging? I'm not mistaken about Countdown, right? Yeah, Countdown's the first pick for Team Starbelly. The first pick for Team uh, Plain Belly is KD. As a reminder, guys, there's an element of strategy at play here. Pick up opponent that you think that maybe you can beat that nobody else on your team can beat. Right? Because every player has to get challenged by somebody. Welcome back, Herb. Yeah, Tanner, here's my advice. Maybe don't be out of town. Just stay in town. Whenever you can. Flip token, guy. Welcome aboard. Right. like your Rocker Ride mode. That's great. What a Are beautiful mug. Go. Hmm, okay, so we've added Countdown and KD. But neither player's getting back to me right away. Hopefully they're deliberating with their teams. Get back to into town on the 22nd. I should go from the airport straight to Gastonia and borrow a stick. Yes, you should change me. You should. Nothing wrong with that, unless you're Chris G. Or you can borrow a stick. Team Huddle, Orangey, Team Huddle. Oh, KD's going with the first pick. Let's go look at the teams. So their team has Arteus, Jimbo Slice. He says he wants Arteus. Here we go. KD Alpha versus SHD Arteus. First to two, please. Very good pick from KD. Again, it really, it falls on, that's kind of the fun of this format, I feel like, the, uh, the element of strategy. It kind of falls on KD to take out Arteus. Right? They don't really have a lot of choice because uh, Arteus is a very, very strong player. And I'd say Katie's, you know, uh, one of the few players on his team who's got a pretty good shot. So here we go. Likewise, our is going to have to probably challenge KD. Because KD is the strongest player on his team. Let's do it. We're going to do first of twos, guys. What's up, Yellow Swaggins? Not too late, dog. Just in time to watch our first match of the night. This is going to be KD Alpha versus SHD Arteus in a first of two. Hope their taste is uh, uh, awake and alert. Don't see KD, huh? Here we I'm sure we'll figure it out in, in due time. Isn't it great changing me? YOLO swaggins. Got lots of players here again. You'd love to see. Look at how these guys playing Third Strike, man. So much Third Strike. Oh my. There's 142 matches going on right now. 
There's 142 matches going on right now as we speak. As a reminder, guys, Artes' name is SHD Artes, so let's jump in the S's. KD Alpha is KD underscore Alpha, or maybe it's be, I KD space Alpha on Fight Kate. This is one uh, downside of not having a private lobby, right? You have to kind of find people's names. Oh, it's okay, KD. Take, uh, take your time, dude. Take your time. In the meantime, guys, Jazzy Season 4, January 21st, Game of Dreams Auto Qualifier in Houston, Texas. If you guys are down there in the south, then please go to Game of Dreams. Go play some Third Strike. There's going to be some very strong competition, some really cool guys. You guys are going to want to hang out with these guys, I guarantee it. These are uh, players that anybody would be lucky to have the chance to fight and hang out with. That's going to be on January 21st, I believe. Also, my friend uh, 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 Change Me and also uh, 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 Apple Shampoo points out that Grown Man Monthly guys in, uh, in North Carolina... That's going to be on the 22nd. And so much third strike that weekend. Wow. So much 3S. Thank you, KD. No problem, dude. We got our taste and KD in there now. Let's see if we can watch it. I'm going to put the overlay with a score. I got you, Beach Ken. I'd love to play with you some other time, dude. It's a pleasure and an honor. Token guys, it's kind of a new format here. We're calling it Sneech's Crossfire. It's a format that's team versus team. We have two big teams. It's Team Starbelly, Team Plain Belly, and uh, and the idea is that the players challenge each other for points, but every player can only be challenged once. So you have to be kind of careful who you challenge. Let's update the overlay here, shall we, guys? It's gonna be quite simple. We're keeping it simple. I'm gonna see if I can delete this text here. We're going to have stars and planes. Right now, each has zero. Right now, guys, KD is the aggressor. KD of his team, uh, a star belly, I believe. Exactly, Tony. Nice. Street for three, three tactics. Big old dragon punch. Oh, it's a combination. Countdown wants love is you, awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna actually update this and see if I can't uh, fold some names here. Oh, don't drop any frames while I'm sticking around Discord, guys. I apologize. One thing about this new format is that it involves uh, a lot more. a lot more. Discord action. Nice parries from Katie there, looking pretty strong so far. That's one for K Alpha. You win. Now, now, find a new rival. Welcome to the world of the street. Well, well, yeah, I'm waiting here for the battle. Get it out. I'm trying hey, to soak up as much info as I can. I'm creating now. my internet for my birthday in a couple weeks. Nice, nice. That's sick. Happy birthday in advance. This is a really deep game, Dizale. It's a game that you can play for years and years and years and still always be learning. It's a game that you can be the strongest guy in your whole fucking state and still get bodied by somebody else 10 0 for another state. You can be the strongest guy in your country and get bodied 10 0 by somebody else in somebody other country. It's just that kind of game. Wow, let's punish them from KD. Holy shit. This game definitely has a lot going on in that respect. There's always something new to learn. Every player I know is, you know, godlike to somebody and a novice to somebody else. One more, Envy. Wow, I'm that fucking low forward with. Oh, shit. Nice punch there from KD. That was trip card. Nice. Oh, no, he missed a super there. How the hell did he miss that super? He must have not gotten uh, the full uh, uh, diagonal there. What's up, man? Watch this game's ass. I love ass. KD looking pretty strong, and this is a really hard matchup for, for Necro, and KD's really uh, uh, making sure that Arteus knows it. That's punch there from Arteus. Oh! This is uh, Drill there. Oh, no, he didn't block his toes there. What if that was all about? Wow, look at the grab. Dude, our Necro's grab is so long range. It's almost like a car grab, but just regular. They hit twice, I didn't even combo. I think KD misses period attempt. 
Ooh, nice block mill right there. Now, Arcanist would have supered that if he had gotten it. Anti ears, that's really deep. Nice parries. Oh, once again, he missed a. Uh, he wanted a crouching forward there. I'm not sure you could punish that at that range with, uh, with, uh, Ryu. Ooh, man! Artex blocks the DP there, goes for the grab. Like how he disguised that jump, he really delayed that jump for that drill. He wanted KD to not DP. He basically, uh, made KD hold down back. Oh, that's not safe, I punched that Marteza! Oh, what the hell, he just jumped out! I thought he would have to parry that. Or block it. He just jumped. Thing follow, I like does. Isn't that a great parry token guy? He's really nailing this SA1 parry. He hasn't got a good punish yet, though. Ooh, I thought he was going to land and block. Oh, Schwopes, high low mix up. The block in the overhead is really slow. That Fierce is uh, going to beat Crouching Strong because of the uh, priority. Mmm, he's looking so fucking solid! Oh! He delayed the fucking Tatsumaki! That was gross! Good fucking games, my friends. Good fun game. So that is a first point there for Team Starbelly, right? I believe that Team Starbelly is K-Dalpha. That was the challenge. Let's go here and double check. Mm -hmm. Okay, no, I'm sorry. That was for Team Plain Belly. Plain Belly gets the point there. Okay, so we're going to do uh, Countdown now versus uh, Love Is You. Let's do Countdown versus Love Is You. Thank you for your patience, guys. First of two, please. Update my score here on my side. Side of my screen is somehow locked. My left side of my screen is somehow locked, so I couldn't do anything, huh? That sounds weird. <laughs> that sounds weird. Okay, let's get countdown here versus love is you. I'm gonna actually update my overlay here. So the plain belly's get a point because Katie was the aggressor. You gotta pay to unlock the whole screen, says Orange. That could be. As a reminder, guys, it makes it a lot easier for me if you guys jump into your set ASAP. They don't gotta wait too long here in the meantime. Let's see if we can find Love Is You, huh? Mm hmm, okay. Don't see him there. I right, have to move on, thank you for your patience, guys. Going to at countdown. And at uh, Xavier, at Xavier, please wait. We gotta move on, guys. So let's see who's next in our in our list. We can't just wait around for people to show up. We're gonna have the Mineral God and Three Venge pick their opponents. At the Mineral God, at Wi-Fi Kai Three Venge. Who would you guys like to challenge? At Xavier, please tell me when you're back. I didn't want to pick Ryu. I literally couldn't switch characters or type in chat or move the window in my other monitor. It was mad weird. That's fucking hilarious. But your Ryu fucking did work, dude. Like I was saying, that's a tough matchup for Necro. You do, Mineral. Yeah, you pick your opponent. So basically, look at the Bruise Day updates, right? You're on Team uh, Star Belly. You pick an opponent from Team Plain Belly who has not already been challenged. So you want Liquid? Perfect. Let's do it. So we're going to do the Mineral God versus Liquid Drifter. First of two, please. We're going to do Three Venge versus Geo after this, guys. Let's get the Drifter versus Mineral God. I couldn't switch characters or type in chat or move the window to my other monitor. <laughs> That's amazing. Leave your patience, guys. As a reminder, if you guys are involved in Bruise Day Tuesday, please make sure you're monitoring Discord so you can get into your matches ASAP. Makes life a lot easier for us here. Otherwise, we're stuck kind of just kind of waiting around, holding the whole stream up. Okay, so we got Mineral God. He's adding Drifter. Where is Drifter? Make sure you guys are available. Don't be, uh, don't be away so people can challenge you. Otherwise, you have a situation here where you have people adding you on, on Fightcade to come off of away or whatever. Mm 
Okay, there we go. We've got Drifter and Mineral God. Gonna be first to two guys. The aggressor is the Mineral God. Drifter has to play defense here. The way this format works is that if you are the challenger and you win, your team gets a point. If you are the challenge player and you uh, win, you defend the point. You don't actually get a point for your team, but you don't give them the, the point. Okay, so now Joe Joes has been challenged by three vents. And the drifter has been challenged. You know, got playing Alex here. If he can beat the drifter, I'll be quite impressed. Because the drifter is no slouch. The matchup is pretty hard for Alex. High low mix up. That sweep in the corner is, you know, very important for Alex. It's really a, not a good option for any other character to be a super whack, a super whack option. Oh, nice tick grab there from Mineral God. Oh my lord, that beat is fucking sweet. Right, stay solid, Drifter. Stay solid. Oh shit! Okay, now punish no! The Drifter got scooped. Prepare to strike now. Okay, nice touch, touch his toe there. Got a big combo. Oh, save the bar. He's standing. Can't combo that. What a sick Tatsumaki there. Holy shit, what an anti here. Okay, big left lead here for Drift in the second round. Wow, beat the startup on the slash level with the Tatsu. That's not safe. I'm not sure that, was, that might have been a punch right beyond it. Okay, Alex punish with sweep there. We got round three here, guys. Final round. Very convincing there from Drifter in the second round. He's trying to get his uh, get his uh, momentum back. Nice escape there from Mineral God. I can't believe that jumping three is connected. Raw Super, that was so deep. God damn, how the fuck? How the fuck? Somebody clip that, please, for me. I appreciate that. That fucking little forward was all the way out. Okay, nice combo there from the Drifter. Oh, okay, I just gonna hit him three times. Oh, only twice, I'm sorry. Uh-oh, that's gonna be dead. That's one for Drifter. I think I follow Lexter. Lexter the Sad One. Is Third Strike Lexter? Is that game? Yeah, Betty Wolf. Drifter's getting some pretty good confirms, but he's not getting all the way into the Super, usually. He's not getting the Super to come out. We're gonna switch you from Mineral. He's gonna go with uh, Goki instead of uh, uh, Alex. I like that. Uh oh. Wow, fucking crouching jab. Oh, punish that shit! Oh, he missed it. That was gonna hurt. That was bizarre. Who, how do you end up on that side? It's not safe. Oh, uh, too stolen the punish attempt. Okay, one for a jubilee there to quickly pull it off. That's a punish, maybe. Raw Schwob. Oh, that was really risky there. I mean, with Goki's small health bar, if he'd eaten an ESTP there, it would have been pretty bad news. Now. Whoa! Dude, lots of really weird cross-throughs here in this uh, fight. Oh, look for a DPS foot there. No love. Throw parries. Playing around mid-screen. That's not safe. Punch there from Drifter. You have to really punish these Tatsumakis. Goki loves Tatsu. Oh my. He's on health now. Oh, the punish! That was sick! Punish that shit? Oh, no. Oh, man. I like pressure, I like pressure from Drifter. He's a light button there to throw off Mineral God's timing. Final round. Go for it. Yeah, nice escape from Mineral God. Okay, I think he would have supered that. <coughs> Point blank fireball is not safe. Oh, wow. I might have been punched on the sweep there. Walk up and get him. Uh oh. Not a punch on hit there. Oh no. Nice punish from the Drifter. It'd be hard for Mineral God to come back now. Oh wow. That ended up being the same side. 
Good games with Drifter and Mineral God. Well done. That means that uh, Drifter defends, right? Drifter defends. That was Mineral God's challenge. Up next, we're going to do uh, Three Venge versus Joe Jost. That's Y Fi Kai Three Venge versus Joe Jost. First of two, please. Let's do it. So I'm going to update the points here. So the points don't get updated, right? Because that was Mineral God's challenge. So nobody earned a point because Drifter defends. Let's have Philly Phil and Third Noobster choose their opponents, guys. SWP Philly. Third Noobster, please pick your opponents. Let me know on Discord what you want to do. In the meantime, we're going to get Three Venge here versus Joe Joe. This is going to be really crazy. I actually seated Joe Joe above Three Venge. Right? I'm pretty sure I seated him above Three Venge, which is uh, kind of a hot take. But Joe Jost's Ken has been coming out of nowhere looking extremely clean. Extremely clean. So let's see if Revenge can, you know, make me, you know, regret putting Joe just above him. We've got Ken versus Ken here, rhyme for rhyme, guys. The most third strike match in third strike. So Philly wants Tanren, that's gonna be sick. And I'm gonna also add uh, third Nuker. Oh my god. Dude, the red Ken versus the blue Ken, dude. Oh, yeah. Or is this the purple Ken? It's hard for me to tell if I'm colored by the sun. Period temp there. So Tanran has now been challenged. Look at me, what's this purple Ken? Really wants Tanran. First round goes to Freeman in a long ass Bro. round. Confirmation. Dude, Freeman's with the P there. You win. All right, that's cool. Blurple, so the man of son. But what if it was purple? Yeah, what if it was? Yeah, Sick period, right? Iron Bailey? Here we go. Let's go, Joe Joe's. Oh, that was sick! Oh my. The dragon pionch. Oh no, he went for it. Schwoke, he's basing on that. That's too far to punish. Oh my god! Wow, deep ass jumping MK there. Oh, no punish there from Joe Jost! He baited the throw, but no punish. Oh, what the hell? Okay, I get a super that. I get a super that too. Oh, he touched his toesy! Uh oh, it was looking pretty, uh, pretty cut and dry for Joe Jost there for a second. Oh my god! That's invincible, dude. They gave this man an invincible non-EXDP. I mean, it's not that amazing, but still, I mean, it's, it's amazing he's top tier. Oh my god. Oh, he fucking caught him. I mean, that was not a good confirm, but he got him. Oh no, Joe Jost. Let it all hang out there. Fucking board, player. It's real Tuesday hours. It's that night. Oh shit. Oh, the back back. Oh my god, the stare down. Oh my god. Oh, there's a confirmation from Joe Jost. Let's go, Joe Jost. Oh, it's not safe. I guess that might be safe, huh? I guess. Can. Oh shit! Wow, what a punish from three vengeance there. Now that couldn't be what Joe just wanted. Oh, oh. Oh sick! Oh my god, Joe Joe's please! Oh, that was a sick DP! What a reaction from three Venge! Oh my god! Punish that shit! Oh my god! 
Oh, what a punish from Joe Jost! What a fucking punish! Wow! Beach can this man put that fucking fireball out there? That was GG! Dude! God, third track is so sick! It's insanely glad. Yo, champion, make it! Yo, champion, make it! Holy whoop! That's not a combo. Uh, oh wow, sick. I'm not, I'm not sure that was a, a trip card, right? I think Joe didn't press a button, did he or did he? So he went for the grab right and he touched the ground and he got hit by the go forward. Oh. Oh my god. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. But to come back there from the third venge. Gotta watch this shit. Fucking first to ten guys. Now. Joe Joe versus three venge. Oh my god, what a block. No punch on the Satsumaki though. That was not safe. Oh shit! No DP there. Oh, that's a nice punish there from 3 Venge. Wow! Look at the fucking level of play, dude. The Guardian of the Seal. Oh my god! What a double dragon from Joe Jost! Level of play, Claire. Oh, how the. Oh my god! Oh no, super! Oh! No! What a drop! I can't believe that punished the wake up grab. Why is this game so sick? Oh wow, what a fucking far ass grab. Oh, he's been in bar. I'll be spending that bar, dog. Uh-oh. Uh. Uh! Oh, we got too early. Oh, no. Oh, no, it's been in the box. Oh, my God! <coughs> Joe Joseph's fucking emptying the clip. That's not safe. <coughs> wow! What a punish on a parry crouching short! Punish that shit! Don't let him fireball you in the corner like that. Oh, he got him! Nice punish from 3 Venge. Oh! Oh man, JoJo's got nothing, dude. He can spin all his bar and everything. Like, literally everything. Good block. I want to block that shit. That range. Oh my god. What is that shit?! Oh my god! The fireball again! The fireball again, dude! Oh That's my Japanese. god. That's fucking Japanese, Rick. Dude, Beach can they played so good, dude. Yeah, oh my. That fireball was a fucking suicide button, dude. Holy shit. Wow. So that was, uh. That was Three Venge as a I, challenger. So that means Joe Joe's defends the point, man. Holy shit. We're gonna do Philly Phil now versus, uh. Versus, uh. Tonren. Let's do Philly Phil versus Tonren, guys. Mm -hmm. Not sure why we got everybody else before Tonren there. First to two, please. Dude, yellow swaggins. And he says, come on, three, dude. Come on. Where's the come on dog emoji? Yeah, tab, tab aerial. What a fucking, what a fucking set. We're gonna have a Tanran versus uh versus uh Philly Phil be a really fun set, I feel like. I'm also gonna update our uh our challengers. So we also have a challenger here. We have a challenge from uh third noobster to Jimbo Slice. That's sick. <coughs> Dude, well done, JoJo. It's holy shit. The plasma and be the plasma. It's leaking. <laughs> Right now, the plain bellies only have uh, uh, one point. Stars at zero. Lots of defense going on right now. Love to see it. Finally, we've got uh, Jimbo Slice has been challenged. We still have not heard from Love Is You. Where's Love Is You? Mm 
We will decoy, yes indeed we will. Stars! Go for it. Danger. Nice taunts! You can't run away from uh, Q like that. Or Urz. Oh no, taunt? Must have missed it. Missed it in too early. That old fight gate timing. Oh my god. Dude, fucking Q has so much health right now. Black is about to Oh no, punish there. I can fucking Oh my god. You win. Do we got Tanren? Let's do it. Find a new rival. What's up, Hebu? I fucking love the parry animation there. The Q's parry. Tanren's up by one. Okay, Tanren is defending the point here. Philly has to kill Tanren to get the point for their team. But Tanren not making it easy here with all these fucking taunts. Just basically on the grab. Boom. Boom. Reset. Oh, no. Ooh, that was deep. Oh, nice blocks. Went to the car grab. There's a punch, but I didn't get it. Oh, sick. That was goddamn sick, that jumping fierce. Yeah, I like how they just burn the bar. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. It kind of makes sense, right? Activate and then you get free taunts, kind of, as they're running away. <clears throat> oh, shit. Went the dive kick there. Whoa. Oh, shit. I think he wanted DP. Want DP there, too? It's a combo. Oh, okay, I like that shit. Too stall to punish. Oh, man. It does such little damage. Oh, it's a fucking punish, man. Damn. Dude, Town Ren too solid. Oh, no, the taunts. You gotta smother this character, man. I really feel as though, you know, considering their uh, height difference, Kuma can really smother Q. Can't do running away with this, this running away stuff. is not gonna help. Oh, my God. Okay, nice use of the uh, super good taunt. Oh, shit! What was that? Was that a fucking cancel? I have never seen that. That's sick. Tanran defends the point. Let's see who's next. <clears throat> so we're going to have uh, third noobster versus Jimbo Slice here, guys. Let's do third noobster versus, not BS, but versus Jimbo Slice. First of two, please. Who's picking next here, guys? Next, we're going to have uh, uh, Herb Durkin and Arteus pick. It's going to be Herb Durkin and Arteus picking next. Let's do it. SHD Arteus and uh, uh, Herb Durkin. Please choose your opponents. Jim Bell's third noobster, they're in there. Look, Chief of Jones looking bored, dude. Teardrop Jones. Yeah. Will Maya. Yeah. Arteus counter challenges KD. Well, well, that makes sense. Again, Arteus kind of has to. For the sake of his team. I know he would anyway. But Arteus always wants to smoke. As much smoke as he can get. I have this full screen on my laptop and my headphones in one year while I play The Ascent. What's The Ascent, uh, uh Dezale? Yeah, I'm really grateful, Dezale, to be running Third Strike here. I've been doing this for, like, five years, and you guys always put on an amazing show for me. It's so sick. <clears throat> okay. Jimbo's the corner. Now, Jimbo beats Noobster, and be quite upset. He goes to the dungeon here to impress Beach Ken. Oh, 
Oh, good fucking blocks, man! God damn! Who has god blocks in the chat? Dude, strike. third uh, fucking now. Jimbo Slice, man. Channeling Zinner fucking Goss. Hi. Hi. Oh my god, the mountain fissuring wave. Uh, here it comes. Oh, what a godlike punish from Noobster! Okay, puts the shield. I got a lot of ages here to burn. Uh, oh, what the hell? Where's the tackle? What if Noobster's timing's been thrown off because of the uh, speed change? <clears throat> Final round. Engage. So the challenger here is third Noobster. And Noobster is on team uh, Plain Belly. I mean, if he can beat Jimbo Slice, he'll go up 2 0 over the team Star Belly. <clears throat> okay. Whoa! Oh, sick. Low 4 doesn't cancel with uh, Urian, but it's still a pretty good button. Grip! Oh, wow, nice cancel. Really good lead cancel there. Interesting dungeon there. Oh, could have got Tatsumaki. Oh, what a headbutt. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, no! Oh! Wow, the low four beat the crouching short. Third noobs now one round away from bringing up the plane bellies 2 0. Now, fight a new rival. Welcome to the world of the street. Well, I got well, I got yeah, hey, I'm waiting for Into the heat of battle. Go for it. Okay, nice basically on that uh, uh, standing medium kick with a huge ass button. Throw parries. Jimbo Slice being so defensive. Going for a punch a little too far. That's big. Plus. The punch on the head, but that's not safe. Ooh, anti here with the jab. Nice car grab there from Jimbo Slice. Okay, nice. Bing, bang, boom. Okay, I'll back off. Oh, shit! Whoa! What a crouching short beat the roundhouse startup! Wow! Fucking board bling! It's Bruise Day Tuesday, dog. Every Tuesday. That's just the way I like it. It's third strike. We're doing uh, Sneech's Crossfire here tonight. It's a format. It's kind of like a team format. Third Noobster has challenged Jimbo Slice for the point. If Jimbo uh, can win this first of two set, he will uh, defend the point. If Noobster wins, that means that Team Plain Bellies go up 2 0 over Team Star Bellies. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, shit! I think he wanted EX tackle there. But he accidentally got an up input and got the headbutt. Oh, no! Oh, my God! Custom combos! Oh, ban this fucking character, dude! Jimbo Slice had such a huge life lead, man. Why can't Nutri play a fucking fair super? Like Denjin. Grip. Cases defend the point, Noobster. Oh, uh oh. Oh, shit. Uh, uh, we're 1 1, dude. Crush, kill, destroy, oh. Destroy, oh. Jimbo plays pretty smart, patient, smart, and calculated. It's such a good balance between offense and defense. He isn't just autopiloting moves out as fillers. Everything he does, he does with intentions in his beach camera. Jimbo is a very thoughtful player, unless that's a fact, because he and I have discussed the theory before. I think Jimbo would agree he's got you know, a long way to go. I think we all do as players. That said, uh, I know for a fact that uh, he's a very, very thoughtful player. He puts a lot of uh, thought into his, his play style and why he does what he does. I played with him the past five years, says Jones, because I would know. So he just hasn't thought in a long time, huh? Wasn't that sick orange fucking crouching jab Shoryu? Like, I think that they, it pulled him forward. I think the Shoryu wouldn't have reached otherwise. Oh, he delayed that shit! You wouldn't think clear? With Hugo, you don't think in one thing. 
Grip. Grip. Oh, shit! Get over the goddamn metallic sphere. What a yacht. I'm saying three, man. This is fucking Hugo mentality. Oh, shit! What a little shimmy there from third noobster. Stanky leg. Dude, Jimbo wants this fucking... He wants to win. It's third strike. Anything's possible. Oh, wow, I got out of range. What a block, man! Dude, Jimbo sliced so fucking solid. Here we go. I got cheer for Jimbo here, guys. I want to see fucking Team Flame Bellies go up by two. Oh, you can punch that! Oh, shit! Oh, that was godlike! Who would fucking hit medium kick right there? Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, my God. He spent the bar. Oh, shit. What a light button. Oh, what the hell? He beat the startup of the fucking tackle. Oh, he couldn't kill. Oh, tackle's on deck right now. He wants to parry it. Dude, Jimbo's playing like a god. Third noobster gets it. The second point for the plane bellies. Wow. What a sick set. Okay. So we're going to have a Herb versus a Frymonger, huh? Okay. Oh, we also, we're going to have uh, our taste versus KD first. SHG Arteus here versus KD Alpha. First to two, please. This is the run back, guys. KD beat Arteus earlier to earn the first point for Team Plane Bellies. Now Plane Bellies up by two. Arteus, if he wins this, he can narrow the gap here. KD playing defense right now. Here we go. Well, at least you get their match underway, I'm going to update the uh, the list of challenged players. Wow, what a night so far. We're going to do SHD Arteus here versus Kate Alpha. In the meantime, I'm going to update this list because now we have seen that uh, Frymonger has been challenged by Herb Durkin. We're going to see that, uh, uh, yeah, and Katie is already challenged. Okay, I see. Wow. Here's our taste in Katie, guys. <coughs> Ooh. What a sick set, guys, right? Judge is literally crying in the club right now. Here we go. Who will KD pick now that he actually can choose who he plays as? Yeah, well, I got the picture. goes with Makoto here. Interesting matchup. I always say whenever our taste plays, oh, well, you know, so it's a hard matchup for Necro. Whoa. Necro's not a very good character. <laughs> they have a lot of hard matchups. Oh, my God. He has very long startups on his moves with very low priority. As such, a character like Makoto can really bully him with her buttons. Oh my god. <clears throat> That's combo and pressure there from Katie. Sick punish. Mr. to Godansky though. Punishing Snake Fang with normal Hayate sucks. Is that true, Bling? He's fucking punishing with the Hayate? Oh yeah! <laughs> yeah, Snake Fang seems like it's not really that. Not a lot of Necros use that that often, and for good reason, right? It's very unsafe. Now, find a new rival. Welcome to Snake Fang, I've seen some Necros use it to great effect. It's kind of like Alex's sweep. You know, it's just a low you have to do sometimes, just to keep your opponent aware of it. But it's not great. Electricity. Oh my yeah. Nice punish on electricity. Okay, nice. Oh, that's not safe. Oh my yeah. Crouching strong, don't even need Hiate. We're spawning characters that can't punish. They need like a long range punish, right? 
And Alex can punch it with the X slash elbow. Okay, I wish I had a combo went so sick. Like punch there from KD. Not safe. Next punch from, from Arteus. Double parries. Oh! My god! What a sick fucking punish from KD, dude! Oh my god. The point is defended, guys. The point is defended. We're going to do uh, Herb Durkin now versus Frymonger. Let's do Herb Durkin versus the Frymonger. First of two, please. Let's do it. In the meantime, who's going to be challenging next, guys? Now we need to have uh, uh, Legalize Ranch and Jonesy challenge. We need to Legalize Ranch versus uh, and Jonesy. Please pick your opponents. Dude, Plain Billy's doing work, dude. Plain Billy's doing work, Joe Just. Here we go. So now we're going to get uh, Herb Durkin here versus uh, versus Frymonger. I see the Frymonger quite low. Herb Durkin quite high. This might be kind of an uphill battle for Frymonger. I've not seen Frymonger play that much, though, in the grand scheme of things, compared to other players that I know. So it could very well be that uh, from our can surprise us here. Welcome back, uh, uh, Xavier. Is everything okay? Do you still want to play tonight, or you need to tap out? Which I totally understand if it's a family emergency. <laughs> oh no, Xavier. In that case, you know, we're going to knock you out of the tournament, dude. Do what you have to do. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Yeah, I imagine when love is you, you're gonna have to be dealing with uh, a lot of uh, phone calls and and, uh, and family stuff. No, a friend's family member. Okay, well, let me know, Dave. If you want to keep playing, let me know on Discord. Otherwise, I can take you out. Yeah, I'm a yeah, I'm a gonna go with uh, Urian, huh? Hmm, interesting option. Are you ready? What's up, Synapse? Yeah. Herb's gonna play uh, uh, Julian here. Now, I actually saw on Twitter that Herb recently fought Kyosuke's Julian. Huh? Oh. Go. Yeah, Xavier, I'm gonna try to answer that question, my friend. This tournament's been going on for almost two hours now. Oh, excuse me, it's going on for a little more than an hour. Touch his toesy. Nice uh, light like buttons here from Prime Monger. It's gonna hurt. Nice punish from Herb. Don't see uh, a lot of Urians do a big jumping combo like that. Touch his toe. No combo. That's gonna be safe. Whoa! Whoa! Super his ass up. Squeeze his noggin a little bit. Oh no! Okay, nice little juggler from Herb. You win. The one for Herb. Now, fight a new rival. Welcome to the world of Street Fighter Three. Well, I got paid for the battle. Now Herb is trying to do it for the uh, for the Star Bellies, right? Yeah. No, Herb's on Team Plain Belly. Oh no, let's go up 3 0. Go for it. Schwopes. Tatumakis. Schwopes. Tatumakis. Oh, punish that shit. A little too slow there. Okay. 
Ooh, nice fierce cutters fucking dash there. Holy shit. Oh, that was gonna hurt. Bang, 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 bang. <laughs> Nicely done there from her. Let's go fry monger. <laughs> Ooh. Nice combo from Fry. Look at that damage, man. Nice. Um uh, my Oh no. Oh, he teleported out. That's so smart. The fuck your age stop. The fireball doesn't do a whole lot of damage. Oh my god. What a fucking DP. I like how he stayed in the ground there. Wow. Brainiac move there. Hey, what's up, Drew? Fresh off some free play, Third Strike RBM is out here eating Taco Bueno and watching Bruce Day. Oh, Drew, I'm fucking jealous, dude. Although, guys, today I had some Mediterranean food from a new place opened up in my neighborhood called Tabuli. It was so good. The falafel dog, that shit was godlike. Oh, no, it's a Punish. Wow! Bam, Urian, dude. Did you see how far I got the combo? That combo was so far away. Good game's Frymonger. Herb gets the point. Let's see who's next. So we're gonna have uh, three venge versus legalize here, guys. It's gonna be three venge versus legalize. That's legalize ranch versus Wi-Fi Kai three venge. First of two, please. We got our third point here. Fourteen star belly. Actually, fourteen plain belly. Let's do it. So we're gonna have legalized ranch here versus uh, uh, three venge. Legalized ranch uh, Oro. Yeah, orange. It was so good, dude. I was like, what? If you'd been in my neighborhood, you would have heard from across the street, orange. Wow. Okay. So we've seen that uh, Legalized Ranch has been challenged and Three Venge has been challenged. Kill him! It's not safe. Don't let Oro hit grab you guys. Don't let him do that. Uh oh. Too slow. They didn't want to run so sick. Touch his toesy. Ooh. What's up, Alucard? Welcome board, dude. Yeah, clear. That uh, the hit grab where he grabbed you by the face. That's super unsafe. I'm pretty sure anybody can play. Maybe not Hugo. Unless he can reach with SPD. <gasps> oh my god, big naturals. Yeah, clear, you know like Oro, he has this combo where he's like crouching crouching short into hit grab. If you block that, you can punish him for it big time. Right there, see? Can't do that. It's a good punish. You can confirm it off a jump in too. If you just do a raw and, they, and the opponent blocks it, you should really fucking kill him for that. Oh shit! Swoops. Oh wow, I didn't count. I'm surprised. Oh, kind of moving there. Oh, too close, man! I'm gonna reach right through his goddamn body, dude. Kalima. Find a new rival. Welcome to the Well of the Street Fighter 3. Well, I got this. Well, I got this. Yeah. Here we go. Legal Isaac, let's say two. I like it. Prepare to strike now. The challenger here is Legal Eyes. Challenging him half of Team Starbelly. He has to beat three Venge here in order to get on the board. Oh my. Don't worry, common sense. It's not safe, no punish. I mean, I don't know why I said no punish. Yeah, you got the nice punish there. I don't say nice punish. I said no punish instead. The Hinkle. That hurts really bad when it works. Scoops. 
Your space base on that fireball. Oh my god, he filled the whole sky with fire. He filled the whole sky with fire, dude. Are you ready? Go. Interesting spacing on that. Nice punch from three revenge. He fights me on Riot. He knows he can't just do that. I'm sure he probably could super that smoke. I think that Lico's hit a button there. Nine hits. Oh my man. Good games. Revenge defends the point. Now we're doing Legalized Ranch versus Jonesy, right? If I'm not mistaken. We're going to do uh, Legalized Ranch versus Jonesy 143Z. First of two, please. Now, if Jonesy can beat Legalize here, we're going to see uh, another point for Team Starbelly. Also, we have to uh, have some, some of you guys decide who they're going to fight. We have to do uh, Joe Jost and uh, Liquid Drifter. Please choose an opponent. We have Jonesy and Legalize here. Yeah, no metro in here, Bloodless. We're just doing like a, uh, a for fun event. We're calling it Sneech's Crossfire. We have two big teams. Team Starbelly is Countdown, The Mineral God, Philly Phil, SHDR Tays, Legalized Ranch, Joe Joe's, Frymonger, Jimbo Slice, and Lord Solar. Team Plain Belly is KB Alpha, Three Venge, Third Noobster, Herb Jonesy 143, Liquid Drifter, Tan Ren, Level, uh, excuse me, uh, Love Is You, and Reef. This is Jonesy's challenge. If, uh, Jonesy wins this, it's gonna be what? 4 0 for team. Uh, for team. Uh, plane bellies. Big old tackles. Nice launch. Oh my god, what a goddamn launch! Punish that shit. Oh no. Here we go. Okay, could have built some more bar there. Okay, nice patience there from Jonesy. Ooh, very high. Again, okay, Ligurian's a very tall character. He eats really high jump-ins. Interesting throw tech. Maybe this is a shot. Not a great shot, though. Ligurian can do so much damage so fast. That was so sick. Oh, no. That's noodle squeezed. Oh, guys, I'm gonna that Oh, shit. I think I figured out all the way. One point for Jonesy. Jonesy now one point away. Be, uh, one win away. I'm going four up over the Star Bells, now, now. who can't get on the board. Could it be, guys, that Team Star is aiming too high? Right? In this, remember, guys, in this format, you choose your opponent. Every opponent that Star have challenged, they have lost to. Perhaps they should have all challenged one lower. Overhead. Beep, 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 beep. Ooh, nice. Okay. Interesting how you get hit by that. Throw parry. Wow, actually, it was a trip guard there. Standing light kick. I'm not looking for legalized ranch, but again, you're in to take away that life lead very quickly. Oh, what a punish on the witch tackle there. Look how peaceful you're in looking he's knocked out. Now. He's like a big baby. A big muscular baby. With his itty bitty diaper. Mid screen unblockables. Ooh, that was safe. Jesus Christ, that mountain fishing wave. He wrote a huge hitbox. His anti-air was standing fierce. Who's his punish there on the whiff headbutt? Uh, whiff tackle, excuse me. 
My lord, that's standing fierce. I'm saying that baby's fucking yoked, Yellow's Wagon. This baby's fucking ripped. You remember, you ever play a uh, fucking Bioshock? That game has a really ripped baby in it. That's a major plot point. It's like a baby, but it's super ripped. It's fucking shredded. It's a hench ass baby. Okay. Nice blocks. Interesting challenge there from the legal eyes. Dashed under the headbutt. That was sick. But oh, yeah, what do they with a giant baby, Claire? Like a really muscular baby. Is that true? Reeks a great game series. I played the first one. Didn't really care for it that much. Unless I wanted to. I haven't played the sequels yet. Oh my yeah. Nice blocks here from legal eyes. Oh my lord! Oh shit! Throw parry. Gotta spend these fucking bars, dude. Gotta mix this man up with them fucking bugs. Oh my god. Good games. Good games. Jonesy gets it for Team uh, Star Belly. It's for Team Plain Bellies. Okay, so we're gonna do uh, Liquid Drifter versus Lord Solar, guys. We're gonna do Liquid Drifter versus Lord Solar. That's Lord Solar. First of two, please. It's tough, Katie. It's tough. As a reminder, guys, again, both teams are pretty stacked. But you're choosing your own opponent here, guys. Remember, you're choosing your own opponent. If you are challenging players you can't beat, maybe you should aim a little bit lower. <laughs> My appeal is still being processed. Here we go, guys. We're going to get uh, uh, Liquid Drifter here versus Lord Solar. Do we need new challenges now? We need Joe Jost to choose an opponent, guys. Where's Joe Jost's opponent? Welcome back, Solar, just in time, dude. Yeah, I added you on Discord, right, Joe Jost? Did you see when I added you? I said, please choose an opponent, please. Aaron Solon. The God. Well, the cool thing about Discord, Joe Jost, is that even if you leave, you can still get the notification, right? Get the little red bubble. That's really cool about Discord. That's what makes it so important for these events. The fact that I can just add people and they're going to get notified on their device of choice. Okay. So we need uh, Lord Solar, who's just back from uh, getting up or something. Versus the Drifter. Here we go. The challenger here is Drifter. And he's challenging for uh, which team? Drifter is challenging? For team Plain Belly. So Plain Belly snipes uh, uh, Lord Solar here. It's going to be 5-0. I'd say it's going to be very hard for Solar to beat Drifter. So Solar's been leveling up. I make sure you guys follow Solar at twitch.tv slash Lord Solar. I might join to just play friendly with people in the lobby. Well, there's no lobby bubbles. We're, we're doing a, a Discord thing tonight. We're all in the public lobby. Okay, so we're gonna have Joe Joe's versus third noobster after this. So on Team a Starbelly, guys, no one has challenged Countdown, the Mineral God, or Philly Phil yet. And on Team Plain Belly, no one has challenged Herbert and Jonesy or Reek yet. Not a bad first round there for Lord Solar. Go. It's glad to have you here, Bubbles. Long time no see, dude. Hope you've been well. Sounds like you've been quite busy. Oftentimes a good thing. Sometimes very strenuous, but oftentimes, you know, it makes other things in your life easier. Oh no, wow, that's kind of a funny little punch there. Oh, the DP's here from the Drifter. Look at that single strong there from Lord Solar. Ooh, wow, we're in-game trade. Ooh, oh, wow, I got caught there with doing MK. Catch up and do a grab. Ooh, no. Just, just walking back, not really crouch blocking a lot. 
Okay, here we go. He's a big punish. No punish there from the drifter. Ooh. Okay, a little bit slow on the left forward. EX beats the regular fireball. Wow, standing jab beats the throw attempt. You win. Remember three vintage, that was you on PS4, dude. Trade them all forward. Welcome to the well of the street. Yeah. Well, 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 the beep, 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 beep. The unfriendlies. Strike. Now. The reverse friendlies, dude. So what was the color change now? You play this on PS4 with Revenge? My memory is all fucking crazy. So you didn't join the stream properly until Fight Cape? Because hmm. I know that we played on, you know, we played on Steam a couple times. And I'm sure we played you there. I believe it, dude. I believe it, dude. For sure. I remember fighting you on Steam. Well, you only played that a couple times, I feel like. <clears throat> All right, Drifter now one round away from closing it out. Fighting straight. Engage. Swoops. Grips. Ooh. Good roundhouse space in there from Solar. Lots of big whiffs here. We're not seeing a whip punish here, and I know these players aren't to quite that level of play yet. But just so that they're aware, a lot of these big uh, whiffs are unsafe when you have uh, Ken with a, a stock of super. Started watching before that, but didn't start playing until it came out. Then we realized how bad it was, so I put it on the back where until fight came. Oh wow, man, time flies. It doesn't really feel like that to me. Oh, touched his toe there, so he's not blocking his feet. Well done, guys. Another point for Team Star Bellies. Actually, for Team Plain Bellies. Up next, we're going to do Joe Jost versus Third Noobster. First of two, please. I'm going to update my overlay here to reflect the fact that now we have 5 0 for the Plain Bellies. That was when I, it was G Fee and I as the fresh meat. Man, it seems weird to me that you weren't on PS4 with us. Yeah, Xavier, you can still play, dude. As long as you're, like, you know, on Discord and stuff. I've already added you, like, a thousand times to Discord. Unfortunately, you are right there on the edge of being disqualified. Dude, Plimbo's are mad strong, kitty, for sure. But, guys, I really want to stress that this is why this format is kind of cool. Because you can choose your opponent, right? The fact that it's 5-0, it doesn't necessarily only reflect that team, you know, of course, team playing abilities have a lot of strong players. I kind of feel as though the the uh, the star bill is gonna be aiming too high. Toe touch. Be a really fun set, guys. Oh my god, dude! If Joe Joe's can beat third Noobster, that'd be a hell of an upset. I really feel as though again, Joe Joe's has been leveling up like crazy. His Ken is looking so clean. Nice. Yeah, you're right there about that case. It's also COVID nuclear, yes. Ooh, whoa! Oh, double dragon. Grips. That's one for the noobster. He's playing defense right now. Now, find a new rival. Welcome to the well of the street. Yeah, I got the picture. Coughing noobster. Sam, kind of sounds like a villain from Metal Gear Solid. Are you ready? Go. Coughing noobster. Gotta stay sick to play sick. Okay. COVID causes brain fog. What these Aegis traps look crispy, huh? Maybe Brain Fog helps if you're a Yurian player. <laughs> the Junior Bangs. <laughs> I 
Here's the launch. TTH. Oh my god! Did you guys see that partition? Backdash, tour dash, crouching short headbutt? Backdash, tour dash, crouching short headbutt? What the hell? Uh-uh. There you go. Confirmation from Joe Jost. Ooh! Shiesty. Save the bar, Joe Jost. You're gonna need it. Oh, no. Oh, my God. He's jumping MK cross-ups. Joe Jost, please. Oh, no, man. He's a bad habit. Spending his bar for no raisin. This is fucking Urian you're talking about here. You're gonna do some unsafe shit. You gotta fucking punish that. You don't gotta hit him in the air to air. Why is it your hurry? Oh, that was fucking slimy. I can't believe what I'm seeing. You better fucking stop! Third noobster, there's a brain fog! Dude, hashtag brain fog, dog? Uh, oh I... my god. Dude, noobster defends the point. Team Starbellies can't score. Who's up next? We haven't challenged, we haven't uh, decided who's next, right? Let's go see what's going on. So now we're going to do a uh, uh, Frymonger and Tonren issuing challenges. Let's do Frymonger and Tonren issuing some challenges here. Let's go here. At Frymonger. At Tonren. Please issue your challenges. Maybe right there, Noobster. That could be two. Dude, Sispy, what a combo. In the meantime, let's see if I can update this. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think we're actually good to go. Wow. So who you guys think Frymonger and Change are going to challenge here? So uh, the unchallenged players. So Asiago, a.k.a. Frymonger, can still challenge Countdown, the Mineral God, and Philly Phil. And uh, Tonren can still challenge... Uh, I'm sorry, I have it backward. Frymonger can challenge Herb Durkin, Jonesy, and Reek. Tonren can challenge Countdown, Mineral God, or Philly Phil. Oh. Uh. Asiago wants a Reek. Here we go. We're going to run Asiago versus Reek. First of two, please. I'm going to at... Uh, I'm going to at uh, uh, Xavier. I love... Uh, uh, it's called Love Is You. Let me know when you're ready to fight. Otherwise, you're DQ'd. Okay. Frontmonger versus Reek. I'd love to see the run back, just for sure. I'd love to see the run back. So Frymonger versus Reek. Now, I think this is Frymonger's chance to put a point on the board for Team Starbelly. Let's go. Yeah, Xavier, we're coordinating on Discord. Because of the way that the stream works, I cannot anything you say on, on this Twitch chat, I can't really regard as uh, being part of the tournament. Part of the event, I should say. You can also read the rules there, by the way, uh, Xavier. All the rules are on Discord. All this is, is very well explained. <laughs> Put a lot of work into it. I'm very happy with it. I need you guys' uh, help in terms of running these events. Yeah, Team Goki countdown, indeed. I've been adding you for, again, for what, about an hour and a half now on Discord, Xavier? Oh, my. Dude, Reek versus the Monger. Got the fucking coin button, that's godlike. Got the combo there, so I got some good damage anyway. Ur to Urs, holy shit. Oh, sick punch on the fucking whiff dive kick there. Ooh, okay. Reek gets one. Post round taunts, got a little bit of Mets there. 
You can have a little bit of Mets as a treat for sure. As with Dives countdown indeed. And both these players are kind of learning the game. If you want to see more Reek, check out twitch.tv slash Lord Solar. Him and Solar are training buddies. Welcome to the well of the Street Fighter 3. Prepare for battle. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yeah, I'm waiting for it. Well, I got the picture. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, I'm waiting for it. Enter the heat of battle. Go for it. Ooh. Defensive cutting shorts. Oh, wow, he didn't get knocked down there. Oh, wow, nice punish there. Oh, put him in the corner, pretty sneaky. Oh, no, he wanted to dive you there. Whoops. Oh, wow, couldn't quite punish that to teleport. Oh, too early on the meaty. He's going ham. Get the kill. Oh, he's too far away, dude. Oh, no. Oh, no, big drop. Wow, the fucking closed fears hit him that high up, dude. First round goes to Frymonger. It's getting tied up here. Oh, that was so goddamn deep. You guys see that shit? What the hell was that? What a weird hitbox. You guys see his crowd his jumping roundhouse hit Reek crouching? That was fucking bizarre looking. He like dropped his fucking nutsack on top of his head. For big damage. <laughs> now. Alright, we're tied up, guys. Can Frymonger put uh, Star Bellies on the board here? Or can Reek defend? Yeah, Junior's a fucking nutbox big damage, for sure. Of course, that's college memories. But work, Neon. He fucking did a jumping roundhouse and hit him with his crotch. And Reek was crouching. I have never seen it before in my life. I had no idea could he even hit that deep. Let alone what, what a weird spot to hit him at. I can't assume Goki's gender, so I'm not really sure. Yeah, that's true, Peach King. You're right about that. Yeah, I assume too much. We gotta see him. We gotta see him. Oh my god. Hello, Tatsumaki's. Okay, Tatsumaki's at a very fast startup. High damage, knocks down. Fast recovery. It's a really great tool if you're not getting punished for it. The two countdown is like a he's like a one of those eunuchs, huh? Frymonger has a shot now! Put one up for the fucking star bellies! Into the heat of battle. Go for it. Oh, that was sick! Oh, okay, that wasn't a punish, but he still got him. Uh oh. Okay, let's leave for, for Reek here. Oh, wow, what a rip. Chansu now for Frymonger. A little earlier there on the low forward. Like the retreating fireball there from Reek. Big old Tatsumaki, we've seen a lot of these. Oh, cross through shit. I think you want Tatsumaki there if I had to get. There you go, Frymonger put the point on the board now for the Star Belly. Okay, so we got we got uh, Love Is You back. We can finally run Love Is You set. So Love Is You is supposed to fight uh, who? Let me go all the way back here. That was a long ass time ago. He supposed to fight somebody. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Uh huh. So we're gonna run Love Is You versus Countdown. This is Countdown's challenge. Love Is You. I'm sorry, I'm on the wrong screen here. Yeah, we do Countdown versus Love Is You, guys. As love as you's last chance here, guys. As love as you can't get into the set, we're gonna have to move on, unfortunately. You have to give the point to uh, to countdown. Here we go. Look at your patience, guys. This has been really fun so far. So we go look at the list of players here and bruise the updates. Okay. So 
So we need Countdown to fight Love Is You here. Otherwise, it's going to be DQ. Here we go. It's first of two guys. Let me update the score here. Since we have a point now for uh, for Team Starbelly. Now Countdown is a challenging on behalf of Team Starbelly. So if Countdown can beat Love Is You here, we'll go up will be two. Name top five numbers. Huh? Five, four, three, two, one. Those top five numbers, guys? They want me to name them. Oh no, three revenge, please. Whiff into grip. Grip. Swoops. Okay, punish that a little too slow. So Jojo likes 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Okay. Life lead here for Love is Eve. Okay, I'm sorry sure they didn't punish. I've been sick of it had. What's up, Cam and Co? Hope you've been well. Like you, which is there from Countdown. Ooh, interesting trade. Let the escape there. Ooh, that was really deep. Too deep, as it turns out. Okay, Countdown's got a shot here. I want to punish that so bad. I like that mentality, but it's not uh, fast enough, it would seem. Oh, punish that shit! Oh, no! I had to that whip before my life. Very long recovery. Time is running out. This third strike, though. 20 seconds is a very long time in third strike. Oh, man. We got a much bigger punish there. What's oh, it rip? Okay. There you go. Wow, dude. Countdown so fucking patient. That'd be a great, Kamiko. I've been fucking great, man. Some really great matches tonight here for Bruce Day Day. Oh, my. Yeah. Is that true? Oh no! You guys COVID came to Oh no! That's you and uh, and young third dupster. Oh my god, the dragon pionch. Oh, I like that shit. Oh my god, look at the damage! Dude, ban Sean, dude. Wow, so much damage, he's about to come back. Uh oh, nice air to air there from Love Is You. Good spatial awareness. Countdown doesn't want to jump anymore. It's kind of funny uh, how that uh, fireball moves across the screen. Kind of weird uh, acceleration. Oh, we gotta punch that. Okay, both players stay in full screen. That's gonna hurt. Could have killed him there. That was so smart. <laughs> you gotta block my DP, huh? We'll hold this fucking. Uh, hold this uh, Tor beating punch. Man, that was fucking sick! Instant air SA1! Instant air SA1! Who has seen that before? Wow, that was sick. Just as I have, but not from him. He's looking kind of sick, dude. Dude, sis, that was fucking crazy. Beep 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 beep. What's going on? Hmm. Okay. So we're gonna give love is you about one minute here. Then we're gonna give the point to uh to uh countdown. Dude, that was sick countdown. Fucking jump SA1, instant air SA1. That was crazy. So much fun. Hmm. Okay. I think I'm going to give that point to a countdown, guys. Good games, good games. Oh, we are, they're in there. They're in there. They're in there. Here we go. Run it back. Countdown's got one point. 
Love is you is back. Might switch characters. SA3 somebody. Oh, SA3 Ken. Here we go. Very good crouching strong there. Building some burr. I like it. I like that full screen action a lot. I like to either be full screen or dash full, sc full screen all the way across the screen. Oh, wow. What a fucking close fears. Uh oh. Maybe right, JoJo's. Nice pressure here from Countdown. What's up, Ocean Star? We had Town Ren play already. I think Town Ren is, uh, has already been challenged and has already issued a challenge, right? Am I wrong about that? I think I actually might be wrong about that. Who did Town Ren challenge? Oh, it's Countdown. We haven't seen that fight yet. So we're going to do Tan Ren versus Countdown after this. Oh, is that true? Was, was it 2 and 0? So Tan Ren is on Team Plain Belly. I don't think we've seen Tanner vs. Countdown. Maybe we did. No, we have not. We have not. Okay, well done, Countdown. Countdown gets the point now, so that's another point for Team uh, Starbelly. Now we're going to do Countdown vs. Uh, Tanren. First of two, please. After this, uh, Xavier, we're going to do you versus... Uh, well, I think Joe Joseph's already been challenged, right? You have to challenge an opponent, uh, uh, Xavier, who has not already been challenged before. If you go to our Bruise Day Updates channel uh, here on Discord, you can see who's been challenged. Yeah, they've been played GL, so they have to choose somebody else. Here we go, guys. We're going to do uh, Countdown. Oh, we got fucking Decoy. Nice. Okay, here we go. Countdown versus Tanren. Update the score here now. Now we've got two points for Team Starbelly. Two there's a guy doing this, for sure. I'd worship him. Okay, now Tanren's on Team Plain Bellies, right? Go for it. Yeah, Tanren is team plain bills. If Tanren can beat Countdown here, we're gonna see a uh, uh, score go 6-2. So we're gonna need Love as uh, Love is You and Jimbo Slice to choose opponents now. Okay, so at uh, Love is You. And at, uh, who else did I say? This is gonna be a Jimbo Slice. Please review Bruise Day updates and choose an opponent whose name is not bolded. From the opposite team. Oh, the demon! Oh, that's not safe! Don't Tatsu! Yeah, orange is a creamy color. The creaminess. Dude, Countdown has to be Town right here to stop them going six. I mean, I feel like, you know, although the plain bellies are, are you know, up by three points right now. I think that, you know, Team Stars can still narrow that gap immensely before the end. I'm not sure they can still tie it. Let me look at the, the list. 
So they can still tie it. If Team Starbellies defends every single point and wins, oh, and wins their remaining points, they can tie it up. Oh shit. Oh man, time and just smothering countdown in the corner there. You win. Pepperoni, sausage, bacon, and four cheese macaroni? That sounds delicious. That sounds delicious. Are you ready? Go. Okay, nice DP there from Countdown. Really gotta smother Tanran so that she can't uh, taunt. Oh wow, Cor teleport in the corner. Oh, ungrabbable. Ooh, you OH, so active. <coughs> Miss DP, might come back to haunt him. Toe touch, man, look at the aggression. High low mix up. Interesting option there. Oh, ho, ho. Tanran goes for the really fast slaps there, but dude, Tatsumaki, Roundhouse Tatsumaki is such a fast start. Right now. Uh oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Countdown, please. Oh no. Oh my god. Let's go, countdown. Let's go, countdown. Oh shit, that's safe. Oh, it's not. Uh, do it again. Oh, no. Oh, what a sick period from Town Ren. Oh. Dude, Town has to fucking do a fucking demon. Oh, my. Good game. Tanren takes it. That's another point for Team Plain Bellies. Okay, so we don't have any new people challenging yet. We don't have a challenge yet from uh, from Jimbo Slice or from Xavier. We need you guys help on making this run. Actually, we're going to move on, guys, because we don't have time to wait anymore. Jim says, who's left? I really, I mean, I couldn't have made it more clear who's left. Just choose one on the team who's not bolded, like I said right there. In the message that I added you in. Yeah, so Jimbo Slice has already been challenged, right? Let me make sure of that. Yeah, Jimbo Slice has been challenged. I said right here, guys, I'm going to highlight this for you guys here. Choose an opponent whose name is not bolded, right? This is pretty simple. If you guys look at the Bruise update, it says right here, bolded players have been challenged, right? So if their name is not bolded, you can challenge them. I'll take Herbs and Jimbo Slice. Oh, okay, so we're going to do Jimbo Slice versus Herb Durkin. Let's do it. It's going to be Jimbo Slice versus Herb Durkin. First of two, please. It's tough, Katie. It's tough out here, dude. Here we go, guys. So that is an another point now for Team Plain Bellies. Right now we have a challenge going from Jimbo Slice to Herb Durkin. Here we go. So this is a challenge um, going from the uh, Star Bellies to the Plain Belly. So if Jimbo can beat Herb Durkin here, then we're going to see uh, uh, another point for Team Star Bellies. Thank you, Soar. So Reek was challenged by Fry as well. Okay, so I need to uh, edit this. Bold Reek's name. Bold Herb Durkin's name. Bold Countdown's name. 
Something here ain't adding up, huh? So did somebody already challenge the Mineral God? Or Philly Phil? No, because Love Is You and Reek still got a thing. Oh, Jimbo, I see. So Jimbo chose Herbert. Okay, I see. So Jimbo chose Herbert. It all adds up. It all adds up. Thank you, Mineral God. Thank you, Reek. It all adds up. So Jimbo challenging for Team Star Belly. Herb defending for Team Plain Belly. A lot of pressure on Jimbo Slice right now. Thank you, Sword. What's up, Cam and Co? So we're gonna have uh, Love Is You versus Philly Phil after this. Thank you uh, for your help, Love, Love Is You. Ooh! That could have been such a sick Get kids looking through. Yeah, Herb's Mac is no joke. Very consistent SA2s. Reese says, I want smoke with fry on Gokin. Huh? I might really enjoy Love Is You vs. Philly Phil. Oh no. Oh no. You win. Okay, here you go. Her working on defense right now. I shut down Team Starbelly. Let's go, Jimbo. Do it for Team Starbelly, dude. I respect anybody who uses Makoto. That's not an easy character to use as Rika. I'm feel I'm kind of the opposite, personally. <laughs> I don't respect anybody that plays Mac, dude. Name somebody that plays Mac. I tell you, a player I don't respect. How about, oh, you play Makoto? Oh, okay, okay. Never mind. I'm like, hey, man, thank you for joining the event tonight. I'm really glad you come out and play. He's like, cool, man. I'm really working on Makoto. I'm like, oh, you play Makoto? Oh, you know what? Never mind. That's what I'm saying, though. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You said you play Makoto. Fighters. Never mind. Engage. One of those people in the end. A freaking Makoto player. So we got uh, Katie Chim for Team Wi-Fi Kai here. That's Herb Durkin, aka Wi-Fi Kai Pal God. Uh oh, no punish there from uh, Herb. Herb being very patient with this fucking corner essay too. Oh, he well, got what he wanted. Party time. Uh, uh, oh my god! Uh, 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 uh. Herb defends the point. Good game. Good game, good game. Alright, guys, so now we're gonna have uh, uh, Love Is You versus Dez. Let's do Love Is You versus Dez. Uh huh. Versus uh, SWP Philly. First to two, please. After this, guys. I'm actually going to make a note here. After this, we're going to do uh, uh, the Mineral God. I'm sorry. It's, yeah, it's going to be the Mineral God here. Versus Reek. But first, let's get uh, Love Is You versus uh, Philly Phil. Here we go. I'm not only loyal to Kai and Jazz this KD, huh? He has no other loyalties whatsoever.
Here we go. So after this, guys, we're going to do Reek versus the Mineral God. After that, Lord Solar versus Jonesy. Five, four, three, two, one. Philly Phil fighting on Team Starbelly. Engage. Trying to keep Love Is You from getting the point. If Love Is You wins this, it's gonna be what? 7 2? Yeah, so if Love Is You wins this, it's gonna be 7 2. Okay. Ooh, nice. What a DP there from, uh, from Philly Phil. Tick grips! Very tight tick grab there. Ooh, should have anti ears. Got schwoped though. Yeah, they went for the raw auto burst. Got a whole number of those left though. I'm sorry, look at Philly Phil's bar. What's up, Mr. Ellis? Good night, Neon. Sleep well, homie. Ooh. Oh my god. Spent the bar though. Philly Phil's got a uh, hot o burst on deck. See if you can land it. Air to ears. Went for the tick grab there, but uh, gets jabbed out by Love Is You. Uh oh. Oh shit. Parried the fucking wheel kick. Got a big punish. Ooh, sick. Didn't combo. I wouldn't want that to have been a combo. Raw Hotto Burst. Got another one of those left, though. Wow, sick. Fucking confirmed from Philly Phil. Think it's up, Tulak. Welcome board, dude. Guys, after we do the Mineral God versus, uh, versus Lord Solar, and then we do uh, Reek versus Jonesy. We're going to be, uh, I'm sorry, it's going to be uh, uh, Reek versus the Mineral God. And Phil and Lord Solar versus Jonesy. Once we're going to do uh, sets, guys, we're going to do another one of these events. Same format as before. Thank you, Solar. The other way around. Welcome home, Tulak. Okay, trying to sleep him from, with him for bar full screen. That ball's not going to help. It's got a very long uh, travel path. You can just react to it and parry it, no problem. If you're mid crouching strong, anti years. Ooh. Okay. He's like levels you enjoys the, the full screen uh, uh, gameplay. Schwopes. Too far for that combo. Air to airs. Levels you's got a shot. That's a negative on, on hit. You have to be careful with that. Love you winning in the neutral game right now. <laughs> this is the roll to close the distance there a little bit. Ooh, man. These fucking parries and this fucking wheel kick are sick. wonder if uh, Philly Phil fights a Sean player. As a training buddy. Okay, I like the dash up pressure here. Caught the uh, SA1. Nice escape there from Love is You. Got a, little, a lot of time left here, to be honest. Yeah, so much hot over. It's going to be very hard to spend it, though. Oh, it's gonna hurt. He can still a season lane. One hundred burst is gonna take the whole thing. I like that. I like that Philly Phil just fucking blocking now. Makes sense. Oh, no, too many dashes there. Here we go. Now. Like the reaction there from Philly Philly. All these crouching strong stuff and dash ups. Wow, we could cut him that high in the sky. Okay, this is confirmed. There, he went for it. though. I like that. Crouching short, short. Nice poke from Phil. Oh my. Okay, you went for the dash up, uh, 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 sure you cannon. Oh no, too close. Yeah, too close. There you go. Good games. Phil takes it. So that was uh, uh, the challenge from Love Is You. So that was uh, defense right there. Well done. So now we're going to do uh, Mineral God versus Reek. That's the Mineral God versus Reek. First of two, please. 
Just we're not going seven and two, dog. We're staying solid. We're doing Mineral God versus Reek. So this is a, a challenge going from Reek to Mineral God. So if Reek can win this, that'll be seven two. This is uh, Team uh, Plain Billy's last chance to get their seventh point. Here we go. Let's get Mineral here versus Reek. I see Mineral in the chat here going, whoa! I don't see any set happening here yet. After this, guys, we're going to do uh, Lord Solar versus Jonesy143. Jojo, I don't know if you know this, but Mineral God and I go way back. Is that true, Jojo's? Are you lying to me? Do you tell me lies? Okay, I'm going to have to ask uh, Mineral God and Reek to wait at this point. Right, they're not in their set yet, are they? Right. So we're going to need to go ahead and do uh, Jonesy143 now. That's Jonesy143 versus Lord Solar. First of two, please. After this, we're going to do the Mineral God and Reek. So please be ready. Here we go. We got Jonesy versus Lord Solar, guys. Thank you, Reek. If you guys want to get into your set so that uh, you don't want to, the, the, this match is over, you can jump into that one immediately. That'd be convenient. Maybe you guys are having some kind of technical problem. It might involve resetting PCs. If challenges aren't being received. Make sure we're not on ignore here or something like that. Go. If you guys are having issues with, uh, again, with Fightcade and not receiving challenges, make sure you guys reset your computers. Noggin squeeze. Nice punisher from Lord Solar. Let's see if Solar can not do a raw DP. That's one of Solar's big weaknesses. <laughs> Love that raw secret though. Okay. So Lord Solar, if we can beat Jonesy, this will be a point for uh, for Team uh, Starbell. Oh wow, what a grab there. With the patience here from Lord Solar, wow, that was fucking such an active button. Ooh, my god. Now, Lord Solar, if he beats Jones, he'd be a huge upset. I like to see Lord Solar playing a little more patiently than normal. He's resisting the urge to just raw DP. Went for the whip punch there, recoup by getting time. There's the DP, get the big punish for it. Shwoops. That wasn't quite a combo. Oh no, even for the jumping fierce here. Could have gone for jumping MK and got a cross up. Okay, little forward, uh, you can punish that uh, tackle there. Okay, overhead. Air to airs. Okay, Chauncey for Solar's got a lot of bar to work with here. Okay, raw super. Oh, Jonesy's not blocking! Oh my god, what's the dumb? Oh my god! Dude, Lord Solar gets the first game. If Lord Solar gets one more, he can bring Team Starboy to three points. Wow. Yeah, Lord Solar playing very patient here. Engage. Like you see the strong buttons? Building a little bit of bar there. Got scooped up there if you can hit with the jumping roundhouse. Whiffing a grip. Wake up, grip! Okay, wow, I'm cutting short hit really far. Dude, your ends of limbs are so long. Solar has bar now. Lots of fucking trades here. Whoa! But you need to block that fucking jumping fierce from that far? You know, that's such a huge hitbox. 
Oh, the classic! Oh, no, there it is. The raw DP. Oh, man, look for such a huge button. The challenger Joe's is Lord Solar. Are you ready? <laughs> Go! So he has a chance to get a point here. Ooh, no super there, though. I feel like he went for it. Ooh. Oh, wow, I got a grab right there? How the fuck? That was so far. That's unblockable from Jonesy. Oh, my God. I like that, though, because he had a lot of bar. He's got to spend it somehow. He had to button the grip, the juice of combos. Wow, he's facing the roundhouse, man. That's so far away. Woo! Man, that fucking it's up in the grab, dude. The command to grip. Oh man, he got a raw super. Oh, that makes sense. Kaido guys one one. If Jonesy wins this, he defends the point for Team Plain Belly. If Lord Solar wins it, he gets one more point for his team, Team Star Belly. Five, four, three, two, one. I was thinking that Joe Jones. I was like, dude, let it rip, man. Let it rip. I wouldn't normally say that, but let it rip. Okay, so we're just thinking. What's the plan? What's the adjustment? Well, I got the picture. Got a for his boy. <laughs> yeah, are you ready? Go. Okay, building some bird. Both these characters love bird. Oh, sick. Maybe right about that more. Maybe they just sip a tasty beverage. That should've been good. Small thing for solar. Yeah, he's been to grab. Truth of combos. Oh man, control up on the headbutt. Life lead not for Jonesy. Oh, good block. Punish that. There you go. I like how uh, Sword gets that pressure, the jumping fierce, and goes for Captain Strong. Oh my ah! What a sick poke from Lord Solar there! Okay, Sword's got a shot, dude. This is a seal this round! Is that a combo? That's a fucking combo! Jumping round and crouching round out. Now. Ooh. Scoops. Oh, too early on grab jump there from Jonesy. Head button to grab. Hasn't failed yet. Something MK there from Yuri. I don't say very often. Big life lead now for Jonesy. Anti years. I'm supposed that fucking Yao whiff. The hell is too early, maybe. There you go. Last round. Can Lord Solar get one more point for his team? Go for it. To narrow the gap. Uh oh. Oh no, that's a fucking medium kicks. Oh, big tackle. He wanted uh, uh, that combo. Good patience. To punch that. He hits a button to grab. Unblockable. Nicely done from Jonesy. Okay, it's alright. Big life lead now. It's not safe because he tackled that to death. And Jim grab. That's it. Good games. That means the final score for Team Starbelly is two. But now can Reek come up with the Mineral God to get us one more point? Here we go. So we're going to do uh, the Mineral God versus Reek. I'm going to add these two. At the Mineral God versus Reek. First of two, please. Here we go. Could they already be in? That'd be nice. I don't think so, though. There they are. They're in there now. 
Here we go. That's tough, Countdown. It's tough. Yeah, Team Plain Belly is looking quite dominant this time around. We're going to do one more of these events, though, guys. Did pretty good, though, Jonesy. Did pretty good. Hit some nice unblockables there. Stars, Countdown. Stars. All right, now we got Reek really punching up toward Mineral God. If Reek can beat Mineral, it'll be a huge upset. Retro Sun says, Mineral, smoke, Reek. Reek ahead right now. And Reek playing defense now to keep... Uh, oh, my God. Reek playing defense to keep uh, plain bellies. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, this is... Uh, Reek is on team plain belly. So I'm sorry, yeah, Reek is fighting for score here. If Reek can beat Mineral, then it'll be uh, a 7 2. What's up, Sophus? Welcome aboard. Final round. Go. Uh oh. Oh, Schwopes. Hitting buttons. That wasn't a combo. Oh no. Oh, that made sense. Mineral God gets one. Trying to keep Team Plain Bell from getting their seventh point. Now, find a new rival. Welcome to the world of the Street Fighter. Let's do it. I got the picture. Are they going through here, guys? Not removing people's rolls because we are doing another one of these events. Mm -hmm. Removing rolls. Let's go, Reek. All these damn Shoryus, dude. He's like fucking CPU Ken. Oh, just slow to punish that. Wow. What just happened? Go Reek! Oh shit! Oh my god! Oh Reek, please! Oh! I can't believe that fucking played out that way! What a mess! Just today. Oh my, he's like fucking CPU Ken dog! That's kind of a protection shoe looks like here. Oh my, yeah. Here you go. Mineral God takes it. Defending the point. Final score, guys, is uh, what? 6-2, I believe, right? Congrats, guys. Congrats to the, uh, to the plain bellies. Well done. This format is still quite new. I hope we can, you know, look at how this played out and think about, hmm... How can we make it a little bit more even next time, huh? It's gonna be pretty tough. 6 2, JoJo's. I can keep playing the game. Let's see if we can go over here and I'm gonna add uh, to everybody here. We're running another Sneetch's Crossfire in 10 minutes. If you're still down to play some Third Strike, Welcome to the world of Street Fighter 3. then let me know now. And I'll give you the bruise day roll and put you on a team. Kicked on the other team, Venka. The bracket was rigged, huh? That's how it goes sometimes, man. Dude, Katie did play great tonight, though. He played great. That's not unusual for him, though. 
I'm gonna go through here, guys, and start removing people's roles. That's what you gotta do, dog. Get rid of their team roll and their bruise day roll. So we can do it all from scratch here again. Otherwise, I'm gonna have guys in this that are not actually available. Because people never tell me when they're going to bed. We have time for one more Sneetch's Crossfire, guys. I say we run it back. 10, 9, 8, 7, 7. Yeah, congrats to the star, uh, the plane bellies. Hashtag aim lower. For me, part of the appeal of this format, guys, is that it does become kind of tactical. Because, again, you want to aim as high as you can beat. But if you overestimate your, uh, your uh, ability to win, you're going to end up not getting the point that you want to get. It's kind of like a risk-reward. Nice, nice, nice. We're moving all the rolls. Oh, we got Sophist? It was I. was I. Right. Right. I could have beaten Noobster on God. I believe it. I believe it. Maybe your day is coming. Let's go here to our, our rolls here. Server settings. Uh huh. Rolls. Bruise Day has two. Let's fix that. Who's in here? All right. Start adding some rolls, guys. We got three Venge. Let me see if I can give this dude the appropriate rolls. Bruise Day. We got Orange. The God. Bruise Day. We got Reek. Is that boy? It's Bruise Day. We got Arteus. He's back. I'm Bruise Day. It's Legalized Ranch. We got Decoy Mandis, that's gonna be sick. We got the Drifter, known by some of Osama, uh, Osama Bin Laden. We got Sophus this time. We got Frymonger. We, we got Tonren. I'm in. Okay. So what time are we starting here, guys? Let's see here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Here we go. So uh, we're going to be starting here in about uh, five minutes. If I get the gangster roll, if you want, we can make a roll for you, Mr. Retro Tron. You can be the only gangster on our server. Me and Jumbo are in, huh? Who's Jumbo? Jumbo Sluice. Bruise Day. Oh, we got Bling! Oh, we got Bling, dude! That's gonna be fucking sick. We got Noobster? Yeah, dude, fuck resting Noobster. Maybe Third Check will cure your COVID. That'd be sick. Can you imagine guys three cured COVID? To Jumbo Slice. I gotta hear from Jumbo. So yeah, Jumbo's sitting it out. Yeah, so Jumbo's sitting it out. Confirm. Good game, Jumbo. That'd be awesome. Dude. We don't know it's a, we don't know it's not true, right? I think science has not yet disproven that you know playing third strike actually accelerates your recovery from COVID. And because you can't disprove it, I think it's got to be true, based on my own bi personal biases. Good games, Jonesy. We have 13 players as of right now. It's actually pretty good for this being being this late on a bruise day. There's still about four minutes left, guys. I just want to jump in and come play third strike with well, this. Would be great. Jumbo said no. Rest in peace. I'm gonna give him a little sad face here. Oh. Oh. In the meantime, guys, don't forget that Jazzy Game of Dreams Auto Qualifier Houston, Texas is not so far off, guys. It's January 21st. It's coming up quick. Jazzy Season 4 has been so much fun so far. Use the command in the chat, Jazzy Events, one word, to learn about what's going on with Jazzy in the schedule. You can also use the command, I think, Jazzy Rankings, I think, will list the top three players in terms of points. Having sick periods is actually more important than having a sick respiratory system, huh? Maybe you're right, Jiffy. What's up, Jiffy? Maybe you're right, dude. Jiffy, did I see you playing on Fightgate earlier? I saw Jiffy. Is that you? Are you Jiffy? Is there more than one Jiffy playing Third Strike? Do-do-do-do. <coughs> in the meantime, guys, while we uh, get this event set up, I'll see if I can't start uh, putting some names into this seed. 
the Seed Motron. That's not you, Jiffy? There's more than one Jiffy playing Third Strike? Jiffy making cornbread? I was gonna fight noobs here, but he dodged. Um, oh, you gonna be playing tonight, Joe? Just haven't heard from you yet. Are you down to play another one of these, uh, one of these uh, thingamajigs here? The What's it called? Like an event? Some kind of celebration of the game? Go out on top, dude, for sure. But Noob's just staying in, dude. Noob's just staying in the fucking tournament. If Joe Jost enters, he can challenge him. Go for it. I love that fucking eat so much, Katie. I love any eat, though, to be honest. Let's start seeding this thing. Do 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 do. Okay, I want to go here. Go to my settings. Go to the roles. Go to the bruise day role. Manage the members. It's like my what ex used to do back in the day. He's always so busy managing members. Add in bulk. We've got Frymonger. We've got Bling. We've got Third Noobster. We've got Tan Ren, Decoy Mantis, Pepper Durkin, Legalized Ranch, Liquid Drifter, Wara, Wara, Orange, Reeknificent, SHD Arteus, Capital SHD. We've got Sophist. We have three then. It's Y Fi Kai, three then. Hey guys, come out to my Game of Dreams Dog Qualifier, please. It would be cool if you did. It's got a pretty small cap, guys. Make sure you guys jump in there quick. Don't wait around and be like, hey, you know what? I think I'm gonna go. Might be too late by then. Make sure you get registered. I wish somebody would manage my member like you do. That's what I'm saying. The good old days, the good old days. Guys, the registration is now closed. We've got uh, enough players for two teams of seven. Let's seed this thing, huh? I'm gonna put Bling up on top. Then Arteus. Put third Noobster. Underneath Arteus. Venka under Noobster. Pull up Tonren. Pull up Herb Durkin over Tonren. Prepare to strike now. Mm -hmm. Pull three Venge up. Let's see here. Uh, above Tonren, though? I think I kind of have to. I think I kind of have to. Dee 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 dee. Dee 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 dee. Dude, Kayak's no joke, Katie. Kayak is the god. Let's get fucking sponsored by Kayak, guys. How sick would that be? Move three Venge up to right around here. Pull up Decoy Mandas. Legalize Ranch. Aura Aura Orange. Who bodied me not so long ago. I don't know if you know this, Katie, but a kayak is a boat. Katie says, okay, I, and I hear you, but hear me out here. I can't roll all the way to Texas. Have you ever tried? I'm gonna pull orange up. Let's see, orange should be uh, above decoy mantis. Yeah, I think I like that. I have the drifter, move the drifter up to right around here. Frymonger, Reek, and Sophist. You know, I feel like I maybe should move Reek above the Frymonger. I think I like this. It's the name of a website, huh? Kayak? But it's also a name of a boat, or a type of boat anyway. All right, guys, start forming these teams, shall we? Thank you for your patience. We've got 14 players, including a boy. Let's start making these teams. So Sophist is on Team Starbelly. So Sophist is uh, 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 up here. There we go. Rolls. 
Team Starbelly. Frymonger is on Team Plain Belly. Asiago. Team Plain Belly. We're gonna have Reek on Team Starbelly. AKA Reek Nificent. Okay, we're gonna have Liquid Drifter on Team Plain Belly. The Drifter is a Plain Belly. We have Legalized Ranch on Team Star Belly. Mm -hmm. And Decoy Mantis on Team Plain Belly. Aura Aura Orange is a Star Belly. While Tan Ren is a Plain Belly. Three Venge is going to be a Star Belly this time. Herb Durgan's going to be a Plain Belly. Split up Team Wi Fi Kai. Venkabot's going to be a Star Belly. We're going to have uh, Third Noobster as a Plain Belly. And finally, Arteus is the final Star Belly. And Bling is the king of the uh, Plain Bellies. Right for the future. Okay. Let's randomize these names, guys, and do some kind of order. Let's go back. Welcome to the world of Street Fighter 3. How about this? I don't just let me do this. Okay, so let's do, uh, we're gonna do, uh, Frymonger, Bling, Third Noobster, Tonren, Decoy Mantis, Herb Durkin, and Liquid Drifter. Randomize the list. Here's our order. That'll be fun. Let's go enter this over here. Edit the list. This is Team Plain Belly, right? This is Team Plain Belly. Delete all these names. Do it up fresh. Okay. Well done. Uh -huh. That's good. Okay, let's do the same thing now for the other team. Let's go back. I'm sorry, I'm gonna go back. Oh, okay, that's fine. Be an asshole then. We got Legalized Ranch. 311. We have Aura, Aura, Orange. We got Reek. SHD Arteus. Wi Fi Kai 3 Venge. Venkabot. And Sophist. On Team Starbelly. Okay, let's randomize this. Okay, good enough for me. Copy it out. Edit this list. Do it like that. Do do do. What's a good reason, Beach Ken? Is your lady watching uh, uh, The Bachelorette? But for the future. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's good. All right. Then we're going to get started here, guys. Wow. That was fairly painless, wasn't it? So, you know, before we get started, we should some time to deliberate. So, I'm going to at these players here. I don't know if I just copy paste my old message. I want to be convenient. The Bachelor starts soon. Which one's better is my question. Which one is better? Now. Okay. Here you go. Looks like I literally copy paste this whole shit over there. For those that are just joining us here. Get rid of this little timestamp while we're at it. It says Bruise Day. Please review the player order at Bruise Day Updates. Actually, let's see if I can fix that there. We can get this to be a channel link. Uh -huh. There you go, and there you go. 
Please review the player order at Bruise Day updates and make sure that you have an opponent in mind to challenge when it becomes your turn to pick. Remember that each player can only be challenged once and I'll bold the names of players as they get challenged. You can deliberate with your teams regarding who you should pick to fight at Team Starbelly and Team Plainbelly. The first picks, guys, are going to be Tanren and Reek. I'm going to at these players. At Reek. At Tanren. Please choose your opponents. I'll give you a couple of minutes while I go get my water refilled. This is behind the scenes stuff, guys. I'm gonna literally get my water refilled right now. Be right back, guys, on the show on the road. Thank you for being here tonight for Sneech's uh, uh, Crossfire, Bruise Day Tuesday. Our late edition, this is the late night version. <coughs> A lot of the time, the next Bachelor's of Bachelorette is a previous contestant that didn't win, huh? Well, that's interesting. What if there's some kind of financial reason for that? Keep them in the system or something like that, huh? Keep their contracts fresh. Be right back, guys. My water refilled. I'm gonna play some more Third Strike. Thanks for being here tonight, guys. Into the heat of battle. Go for it. Thanks so much, guys. Let's do it. Beep, 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 beep. 